Welcome to another edition of the Deals for Dentists podcast. Today we are joined by Jay Glazer. He is the Director of Business Development of Crazy Dental. And we're also joined by Howie Friedman, who is the CFO and COO of Crazy Dental. And you guys are zooming in from Baltimore? Yeah. Yo, yes. Snowy it's Baltimore. Outside. Yo, yeah. Along with most of the country. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining us. So you can go to dealsfordentist.com and find Crazy Dental promo offer. And their offer is you can save up to 40% on supplies with Crazy Dental. Crazy Dental Prices is a DC dental company and manufactured authorized dealer offering guaranteed the cheapest pricing and best in class logistics. Join now for free to save up to 40% on supplies and you can save an extra 10% off your order with the promo code D4 dentist. So go to deals for dentists and check out their promo offer. Um, that does exclude PPE. So welcome aboard guys. I wanted to hear all about your, your story and how you help dentists. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Well, um, so crazy dental really is a club within Jay. If you want to move your camera, you could actually oh. see the, the tagline behind oh. you in your backdrop. So crazy dental is a members only club of DC dental. So many, People watching this might have heard of DC Dental, might have, have, have done business with DC Dental. DC Dental is an authorized uh, dental supply company, like all the other dental supply companies you know about. We've been around since 2002, um, well over 100 employees, and and uh, we, we're well established in the industry. And we have a very talented sales team, customer service team, account management team, and we have a lot of dentists out there, many of whom might be listening to that. Um, already have very good relationships with many of our account managers. Crazy Dental is a crazy concept. That's where the crazy comes from. That and the fact that Jay's uh, involved in it. Um, it makes it crazier. Yeah. Is, uh, crazy is, uh, was a concept. To, to what, what we ended up, what we found was there is a, a lot of, of dentists out there, many of whom might be watching uh, or listening to this podcast, who, you know, don't necessarily have or want to have kind of uh, uh, account managers. Um, they like to the idea of shopping around, and you know they they want to they want to save money on dental supplies. Um, and so our our idea was you know um, why not just list all the prices of all our competitors right in our website and. The Crazy Dental Club gives you access to it. We essentially, we, we don't, we, we're not in charge of our own pricing. We don't set our prices. It's Crazy Dental Prices. We just, uh, it automatically will set the price to whatever the lowest vendor listed uh, is charging. So you're always going to pay the lowest uh, retail price that's out there. Um, and and it, it helps you, for, it helps you in, in two ways. So first of all, when you're shopping around, it takes a lot of time, obviously. To go to you're going to go to this website that website and and this dealer that dealer you might even have to make some phone calls to negotiate with this one and that one so it cuts cuts out all that time um but at the second and, and and the most important is that you're going to be ordering from one place where we have a stellar reputation in terms of distribution capabilities our warehouse is fully automated with uh artificial intelligence robots machinery our products if you place your order um, before 3 p.m. Eastern time, your product will ship out the next day. I mean, sorry, that day. And, you know, depending on where you are, um, for about 40% of the country, that means you're going to get it in two days or less from the day you place your order. So we're as fast as pretty much anybody else in the industry, certainly anyone close to our price point. Um, so it's really a no-brainer um, because it's the best of both worlds. It gives you an ability to do one-stop shopping at the same time to save money. Um, and it's a great fit. We have what, 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 what we found, what Jay finds is it, it's not for everybody because there are people that either have very tight relationships with their dealer or like the idea of having an account manager. And so you're, you're going to lose out on, on some of, and especially like the larger practices who may have negotiating power and can negotiate beyond advertised prices. And then you have certain people that love the hunt they love the idea. They don't like the idea of, I'm just going to go to a website and place an order. I want to like go here, go there. They might also be interested in gray market, which we don't do any gray market. So 
if you're if you're going to buy you know from one of the gray market websites that are out there um certainly on on the disposables are actually highly competitive but if you're going to buy your your uh clinical products um gray market will would probably be um cheap that's the reason why it's there might be a little cheaper but for all those in between and i would say that covers 30 to 40 percent of the market the independent dental practitioner they just love us um, and our customer service is absolutely stellar. Um, you can test by calling a number. It's a separate number from the regular DC Dental um, phone number. Um, it, 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 there is no auto, uh, uh, auto attendant. Somebody picks up and we take care of all the manufacturer promotions for you. So if you place an order and it's a three plus one, you don't need to worry about mailing in or faxing in the invoice. We, we fax it in for you. We'll track it until you get it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a really good fit. It's, it's one of the faster growing uh, portions of our business. And most importantly, I think for, um, what you do, it's a match made in heaven because it's like, it's the ultimate deal site. Yeah. That was, you know, one of the reasons why I created the website is I didn't want to have to hunt and, you know, find the deals and negotiate and call around. Uh, and I used to do that um, specifically with implants. I would call different implant companies and find out what kind of deals they had, you know, the, the new customer offer, or I'd wait until the trade show and uh, find okay. out the trade show price. But um, so my idea was to try to bring the trade show price to the office directly and, you know, help Dennis kind of like what you're doing, save time and money by just being transparent and, and putting all the deals on the table. Um, is that, is that one of your, um, when you started crazy, was that one of your biggest um, goals was to create that transparency? Um, because the word I transparency is, if you said one word to describe crazy dental, it was transparency. More than anything else, it was, it was the, the exact opposite. What we were fighting or what we were trying to differentiate ourselves from were the dealers. And we get this all the time. Jay gets this all the time. They, they want to compare invoices and they send in the invoices. And, and some prices are cheaper, some aren't. It's, it's none of these, none of those, none of those dealers um, list the prices that they're charging everybody on their website. Um, they're, they're, they're constantly changing and tweaking their pricing model to make it, to tease you, you know, to get in, you know, like if you go to a, a certain supermarkets, you know, they have the end cap deals where it teases you, you could to come into the store and then they make up the difference on the other items. And, and so you, unless you go down every single line, every single order, and then check back every few months to see if they've changed the price, you're constantly worrying. And it's, it's a thing. You're, you're, you're constantly uh, worried that you're not you know, going to be getting the best possible deal. Whereas with Crazy Dental, we don't, we don't set our price. So it is what it is. There is um, the possibility that the prices of our competitors haven't been updated timely um or there's something you know but in that situation we have a penalty we penalize ourselves because we have a 110 percent price match guarantee so if the price is wrong we actually pay you um and so it's self-regulating in that sense um so we it's it's for people that don't want to shop around and some sometimes people say you know i could do uh i, I could do better if i I went here and I went there because sometimes you are getting special pricing or sometimes there's an unadvertised price or unadvertised, unadvertised deal. Um, or you could sit there and negotiate with your sales rep. But um, our response to that is um, what you're going to pay overall with Crazy Dental, take three months worth of, of invoices and you will um, overall save money, number one. And number two, there isn't, it's, it's incredibly easy. So there's no way that you did all of that and without having to check back and do all that extra legwork. And I, you know, it just, to me, doesn't make any sense. Now is, so is this all set? You have an algorithm that figures out um, all the, the pricing out there and then it immediately creates your, your pricing and that does that change daily or, or even, you know, per minute? We, we're, some of it is automated. Some of it's actually manual. We actually have people checking the pricing. Um, and some of it's from, you know, uh, downloads, crawling, APIs, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's a combination. Um, fully automated, though, is the setting to the lowest price. That's just a, 
a backend script that runs that that looks at all the so in other words if, if let's say we update the price of a competitor by a dollar you wait it might take um anywhere between 30 seconds to 90 seconds and then you refresh the page on the website and the price will have changed it's automatic i we, actually we just wanted to we I can just make to the, say the word algorithm lower <laughs> yeah we can make the uh, that's right that we can make the price lower uh but we 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 don't we can't make it higher okay um i'm not sure if, what situations we've had where we made it lower though either so so um, you, we're as you low as we can go you don't get involved with sending out a catalog because um or do you is like a, sending out a catalog um without pricing is that a way that some distributors um kind of hide their a their lot prices? of distributors don't publish pricing in their main catalogs we have done away with our main catalog at least for now um but we have this very cool feature if you um place an order with crazy dental you should get one where we automatically will create like a mini catalog of any items that you've every quarter you'll get one any item that you've ordered from us um uh, in addition to the top uh 50 items that we sell and you get a customized catalog with your name on it and it will pr print with the most recent pricing the prices don't change that frequently i mean outside of the world of uh, ppe in the last 12 months um but outside of that you know most manufacturers are really adjusting their advertised price once a year mm -hmm. on most products and typically that's towards uh quarter four or the beginning of quarter one although and it's usually driven by manufacturer price changes and they're adjusting their pricing so we don't the prices don't change all that frequently from the catalog price what we're what's changing on the or from the manufacturer or from your regular supplier might be um, them adjusting your price once they feel secure in your business um, and and the behind the scenes there might be some sort of reminders on their end that says hey why don't we just kick this uh, customer up a notch or two um, you know what are the chances they're going to leave us at this point um, so those are the games that we don't uh, engage in we just so we don't, and we don't. So we don't need to worry too much about our pricing being stale. It's again, like it's, it's automated, but to the extent that it's not, it's not changing all that frequently. So you, that's where the word transparency comes in, because you know I may have a um, you know relationship with with a you know a distributor, a supplier, and I've been with them for six months or a year, and they may know that I'm not checking, um, and they may just start to bump up. Uh, some of the prices of some of the products without me, you know, even knowing. I assure you that people listening to this have experienced that. <laughs> they know they, they so it's not a theory. Um, can, and that's, and that's what we, you know, go ahead. Can you guys explain what gray market is and what it means to be an authorized distributor or dealer? Sure. Um, well, gray market manifests itself in multiple ways. Uh, most commonly, uh, what you're seeing is, so manufacturers are going to, they do an enormous amount of research and development to create their product. And then they, uh, and then they build the, the, the manufacturing plant that's capable of producing that product with the labeling and, and everything else and the staff. And they market the product internationally usually with a bigger focus on the US market. Um, and, and then they uh, have a, and, but they have an international market for the product. And it's priced very differently across all countries. And so a lot of countries uh, are purchasing the, and that's because the variable cost of the manufacturing is far less than the actual product itself or what they're charging you. Um, and that's because it's priced into there is there is the research and development cost and all uh, and 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 all the educational costs of of running the platform and what internationally is priced usually on excess capacity so what ends up happening is a lot of these products will make it to other countries and then get diverted and sent back to this country and even though it's made such a large round trip across the world sitting on shipping containers and possibly in other people's warehouses for several months, refrigerated or not refrigerated, it'll make its way back into this country 
um, and made available for sale for um, far less than the product that went straight to DC Dental's warehouse and then uh, and then straight to your office. Um, and you know. When it comes to non-clinical products or products that aren't making it into patients' mouths, um, you're probably okay. Um, from a liability perspective, the manufacturer will trace the lot number and doesn't stand behind those products because they don't know that they can't trace the origins of it. So you have um, you're always at a little bit at a risk and significantly higher once you get into um, those products that you know need to work or you you could be in, in uh, you're, you'll have to redo or at best case scenario you have the patient back in your chair worst case scenario you have legal issues so it's a choice uh, i would say the risk isn't so high but you know these are risk reward sort of thing um so that's where gray market comes in a lot of reputable companies do do sell gray market um uh, but that's some, that's a choice that many dentists have made. We've made the choice as a company, um, to not engage in the sale of gray market products. We work directly with all of the major manufacturers in the U S to deliver our, our products. And then as far as pricing goes, by the way, here's a little known secret. The trade shows are opportunities where the manufacturers do, I mean, they, they 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 are timed sometimes to have deals that are only during trade shows. Um, you can work with your manufacturer rep if you have a 3M dense fly or Cur rep or GC America or any of these uh, manufacturers in your office, or you can work with them on getting a buy get deal. Um, and so oftentimes using a buy get, using the buy get program and then ordering it on Crazy Dental, which has the buy get advertised there your net price might be very close, if not lower than the gray market price without any of the drawbacks. So. So essentially is, I always thought of gray market as like counterfeit, um, you know, like bond or, or, or cements or um, composite. It, it's more so where it's being shipped to and back from, and was it properly handled and refrigerated it's, correct. it's diverted okay. product it's I, I mean costco target walmart they all engage in in gray market themselves and those are the largest retailers in the world um so they engage in gray market um to some degree it's diverted product the product isn't shipped directly from the manufacturer to the retailer um you'll even find on you, know, you go to a 99 cent store and they have um sodas there and 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 um Oftentimes what they're doing is going to the supermarket when they have, you know, get four 12 packs for $10. So it's, they'll buy it from their local grocery store, take it out of the 12 pack packaging and sell it, you know, as individuals for 50 cents a can or something. That's a form of gray market. And you look at that and you say, you know what, that's the exact same product. I'm, I'm comfortable buying it. So, um, the gray market is not illegal. It isn't necessarily, um, it is usually the, the, the almost identical to the regular product. And it's a question of your sensitivity and the cost reward benefit. You know, you do an analysis of, of what sort of risk you're willing to take um, and how important the product is. You know, if, if, if you're a personal consumer, forget dental for a second. If you found that your contact lenses were gray market versus direct, would you put, gray market contact uh, uh, contacts in your eyes. Some people would say, well, the direct is $60. And I can get a gray market for 40. I saved 20 bucks. And the other person might say, you know, for $20, I'd rather see for the rest of my life and not take any chance whatsoever, even if it's a one in a million. Um, counterfeit is much higher. A percentage of counterfeit items would make it into gray market. But I don't think that there's an enormous, I mean, just being honest, I don't think there's an enormous amount of counterfeit dental products being sold gray market in the gray market world. Um, it, it's much just, it's more likely for it to creep in if it is around, but I don't know um, of too many examples where it was, it was widely, where we had widely distributed counterfeit products in a dental industry yet. I got to stop getting my soda from the dollar store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Almost everything at the dollar store is probably, or a lot of the dollar stores are, are some form of gray market or another. 
you'll one of the tells is when you when you look at a name brand product that you're used to seeing everywhere and then you'll see that they'll have another language on one side or the other of the packaging that's a clear giveaway you'll see that in dental as well the packaging might be slightly different because it'll have um, the language of the country it was originally intended for on the packaging. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, uh, that's usually your sign. That, that's almost always your sign that it's some form of gray market or another. So uh, other than that, how would you know, like, how do I know crazy dental is giving me uh, non gray market products or um, uh, is the word that you use there, they're authorized products. Uh, yeah. So we, well, we, we put it everywhere. Um, we also list our logo and uh, the logos are the manufacturers we, we do business with. So either we are authorized dealer or we are um, engaging in an illegal practice in an illegal practice of claiming to be authorized on the homepage of crazy dental prices dot com. Um, we have manufacturer authorized and bold um, right in that big banner going across the center of your screen. Um, are those so that's the usually biggest... how you can tell. And when they're not telling you they're authorized, then they're not authorized. Are those the biggest manufacturers? Uh, GC, Cur, 3M, Densply, Serona? Is that where most of your um, clinical um, products those are? Say, those are some from? of the bigger names. Um, uh, uh, there's hundreds of manufacturers that we work with. Um, and those are the bigger names in the, the clinical. You also have a lot of big... Um, Brand. You have well you, the anesthetic market, and then you have um, disposables, and um, so there's hundreds of manufacturers that we work with. You know, if you're looking at the homepage, the the ones that you're seeing um, on there are probably um, some of the largest. Uh, I'm just looking, eyeballing it. Um, some of the largest, certainly um, in terms of breadth of product. Also, they have hundreds. Each one of those listed there have hundreds of of different products. Um, that they uh, that we're selling. How many how, how many products do you actually sell or 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 house? So our warehouse we have uh, over thirty thousand products um, listed. It's a good question because I think one of the things that you'll find from uh, one stop shop dealers or that claim to be one stop shop dealers is that they that they'll have the two thousand or three thousand most popular product. Um, so we're we're at thirty thousand. You know with the current um, uh, international shipping market being a little sluggish, um, you know, we, we might only have 27,000 in stock. Um, or, you know, our back order rate is, you know, on, on a few ordering an A or B item, you know, popular item that you're ordering regularly, you're gonna, it, it we're 99 point whatever percent in stock on all of those SKUs. If you order something a little bit less popular, we might be at 94%, 92%. So there's an 8% chance. If you order 15 items from us, um, at that point, 15, 20 items on your order, and some of them are, are, are random items you order once a year, chances are one or two of them might be on back order and it might take a week or two for you to get it. The chances are also that you don't need it right away. Um, so usually it's not a problem. We'll, we'll ship it out as soon as we get it. And does everything um, ship ship out of Baltimore? At this point, we are shipping most products out of Baltimore. One of the things that we're able to do because we're authorized is we're able to ship it directly from the manufacturer if we don't have it in stock and expedite it as well. We do that all the time for customers that when, when it is uh, backordered, you get communication from us and then you can just let us know and, and we're happy to do that. Um, but um, we're also... You know, I mean, we've been growing at an enormous rate over the last uh, five years. So we have um, brought in some uh, an uh, ex-executive from Amazon, and we're in the process of expanding our footprint um, to include at least another distribution facility, hopefully in the next um, year or two. Um, and that would give us two days. Our goal would be two days across the whole country. Right now, it's two days to about 40 percent and then three days to 60 to 70 percent if you're on the west coast it's going to take um four days to get there right now so are you gonna are you ultimately going to try to open up on the west coast or in the south somewhere yep yeah i think the next one's going to be somewhere that will allow us to be two days certainly to the entire california washington mm -hmm. state and, and that area we're already three days to texas 
Um, and then opening on the West Coast, I don't know that we'll lower that number. Um, and we love Texas. We have a huge, huge amount of customers in Texas that love us. So um, we'll see what we'll do about that. Obviously, also, especially on the more expensive items, and the way it works is the more expensive the item, the less it weighs. And any item that is, uh, you know, if you, if you say uh, you need a, you know, a case of cavi wipes overnight, it might, it might be a problem. But if you have, um, if you have a, a, a specific instrument or whatever it is that you need for a procedure and you need it right away, we overnight it for you at no additional charge also, if you just communicate that to us. Um, so we don't really find shipping times to be too big of a concern. I will say to be quite honest that we have, because of that, we have a larger concentration of our customers on the right half of our country. Um, Jay has been bothering me. I have this, I'm the COO and the CFO. So as the COO and actually wearing both hats, Jay drives me crazy all the time to open up uh, on the West Coast. Um, he says, we'll, um, well, we'll get a lot more customers this way and they'll be a lot happier. So we're aware of that. Um, and, and for those customers that we do have on the West Coast, um, they, it just shows you how, how good of a job we do, that they're willing to wait four days for their orders. If I could just judge, just just judge, jump in quickly. I was doing a great job. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the uh, the line here. But if if someone like how we mentioned, just like for an instrument but and anything really, if a guy needs something right away, you know, we'll we'll, we'll take care of it at our own expense. If someone says I need it, you know, Chick Chuck in California, you know, somewhere in the Washington State, Oregon, Utah, Tech, wherever wherever it is, Nevada, we'll we'll we'll, we'll take care of them. We'll, we'll we 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 ask our customers to be big picture customers. We we don't we we tell them don't look at the lowest price on every item in your order because I can guarantee you that if you place a going back to that 15 line uh, order example, you will find an item on there that for whatever reason when you log into whatever website and you go across all the whole spectrum, you can you you'll save money on at least one of those items. Uh, what we do say is if if you you can't find another company where you'll add all 15 items to your order and it will be cheaper, it, impossible. Um, and so we're, we, what we preach, we practice what we preach, which is look at the big picture. So from our perspective, the same thing, if you need something overnighted, even if it's a case of cavi wipes, um, whatever it costs, we're, we're never looking at making money on any one order um, or with the pricing that we've been offering lately at all. But, um, but as a big picture, we're trying to build relationships. Um, we're trying to create loyalty. We don't, one of the things that we do that's different, I think, than a lot of other quote unquote discount dental supply companies is, I hate that term, um, but, but is we, we're not looking for the one offs. We don't want somebody that comes to us and shops around and orders one item or the other item. It's not the type of business that we're in. Um, I mean, yes, every, it's just not the type of, but we, we like, we like large, steady orders. Um, we like the volume. We like dealing with um, uh, uh, people like yourself, where and your and your group of, of dentists, because it brings people in together as a community, and and it's kind of that idea of volume that 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 makes everything work. So if we have to ship something out and it costs, and we have to, I mean, we've had situations where um, I've I've had somebody, uh, uh, an assistant in, my, in our office here get into the car, go to our warehouse, pick up the product and drive all the way to New Jersey because they need it the same day. I can guarantee you, we didn't make money on that order or probably that customer for a while. Um, it takes, that was an expensive trip, but um, that's not how we look at things. So it wasn't even a question. We were gonna, our focus is on the customer and, and customer satisfaction. It's just always done as well that way. Yeah, it's, you know, it's similar to, you know, a dental practice, my patients, it's all about the long game and the, the relationships. You know, if that patient doesn't want to do the crown this year, maybe they'll do it next year, the year after. Um, but it's all about, you know, forming that relationship. You know, we may get a shopper here and there that's calling and, and coming in just to have a, you know, a quick consult. We never, you know, hear from them again, but we want those patients to have a great experience and refer their friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, you build so you build the model and you operate under that model and you won't make money on everybody. But if it's a, if it's a sound model and then you can number one, go to sleep at night. Um, and number, but number two, overall it pays off. And that's where you get your growth from when you nickel and dime every such, every, every single patient. Um, yeah, you, you're going to, you're going to, you'll, you'll get some wins, but you're not going to get that reputation. 
And we have a stellar reputation. I think that's one of the things Jay loves about his job, I hope. Yeah. Is that uh, is that very often, especially since we're 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 fairly uh, he, he we're in the social media space, and we all the time get shout outs um, uh, of praise, saying how much they love working with us. I think, and and what's funny is they don't usually start off. Although I, I we talk, spent a lot of time talking about prices, very rarely are the shout outs regarding prices, right, Jay? They're usually. Nice. Um, saying how much, they, how, what sort of interaction they had with our customer service department. And usually that's where they're blown away because I think that that's where pe- we, we surprise people. I think with prices, we're transparent about that. They knew they were, they knew what they were getting into. They knew they're going to get a low price, but they're usually surprised at the quality of the service and the quality of uh, the experience. Um, they, they, were, they were probably thinking that, you know, um, you get what you pay for, but in our situation, you get much more than that. So big picture, what, what's your typical office saving, you know, quarterly or yearly um, when, when they join? That's your, a good question. I will look program. at, when you look at dental supply savings, anybody watching this, I would, there's two things uh, that you, that we, that we talk about. We talk about first of all, annual spend, but that varies uh, greatly among offices. But then the other ratio that I think they teach this, uh, you know, consultants and, and coaches that will teach you, you want to look at your supply spend as a percentage of your revenue. And that's the key is, is so I, I would say that, so the short answer to your question is the average office spends somewhere around $3,000 a month on the products that we sell. But that doesn't say anything because what happens if you have 10 operatories and you're busy all the time? And what happens if you work three days a week and you're semi-retired? So the real question is what are your dental supply? What's your dental supply expense as a percentage of your revenue? And if you go to some of the biggest biggest dealers in the country, and you create an account and you place your order, you will and and you order you know a normal rounded uh, round of product. You're not an orthodontist or any sort of specialist, so you're a GP. You're probably going to hit around seven to eight percent of your of your practice revenue. So if you're doing a million dollars in revenue, at that point you're going to be spending um, seventy thousand dollars a year. On, the, on 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 your uh, consumables. Um, if you go to crazy dental prices and you just create an account and start ordering, that number should drop to about five uh, percent. Um, so that will put you at about fifty thousand dollars. So you've saved without doing any work or having any sort of uh, you know commitments. And that'll save you $25,000 a year. Um, best of breed, somebody who negotiates and penny pinches and waits for deals and waits for shows and does all the other extra work, you can, if you're lucky, you can get it down another percentage point to 4%. And that mm-hmm. would be like the holy grail. I don't think you can get lower than 4%. Maybe the largest DSOs in the country have some sort of you know, group bargaining power where they can somehow chip away below four, but four is going to be your low number. So, and that's really the message. I mean, I'm being very transparent, even in explaining it. So the point is that you're going to get from, from your 7% to five um, with crazy dental, and that'll save you the bulk of your money. And that extra $10,000 on a million dollar practice is, um, is, uh, is possible. Now you ask somebody who's grossing a million dollars in their practice, whether they think it's worth it to shop around and and spend all that extra time for ten thousand dollars some say yes and some say no that's how i started the uh the podcast you know for some people every every penny counts um and they'll go gray market to do it or they'll um have to like track their orders from seven different dealers every month and then budgeting and then track the keeping track of where you ordered it from and what's on back order from which dealer and and um, which shipment came, by the way, in a lot of situations, um, it turns out that you forgot that you placed an order. It gets lost in the mail, but you don't even claim that it was missing because you forgot you ordered it. So um, 5% is, I think, the healthy number. Anybody out there who coaches a uh, dentist or has looked at this a lot, let me know if I got it wrong. But I think 5% is a really, really healthy uh, number and is attainable. Um, but just by going to crazy dental and placing your order there. 
and you're also that, saving a tremendous amount of time. time Even if you do, yeah. if you go like to shop around, if it's if it's your employees that do it, or if it's you that do it, some people like I call it, like to call it the, you know shopping therapy. They just love going online and just bouncing around. If you like that, okay, fine. But if if your time actually matters to you, uh, and you'd rather be seeing a patient in the in the uh, in the chair, or you'd rather your employees be working with the patients, hygienist assistants, or whatever. Or you rather actually be spending time with your family, or just walking the dog, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, it, it's the crazy dental model is, is 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 like how he is is clearly laying out. It's 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 money, but it's also it's time. It's and then together, it, it's difficult to beat our model. Now are we you, do the work for you. <laughs> are you fully digital now? Do you not go? Or I guess trade shows um, may not be around for a while. Um, who knows what's going to happen with those? Um, did you used to go to trade shows um, and now it's, you're really just doing more kind of like this digital marketing, like, like this podcast we're doing right now. Jay, Jay you have some trade shows scheduled, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. There, there's, so what, what I'm starting to see in this world is there's, there's two, uh, we can break, we can break the shows down into two departments. One is like you're saying, Eric, a trade show. Uh, which is the typical New York, Chicago, Boston, you know, Texas, California, all these great shows that, you know, a lot of people go to, nothing against them. And then you have these, what I like to call them summits, which are, you know, uh, focused on either, you know, consultants, you know, who are putting it together for their, for the people who they work with, or uh, large influencers trying to find some niche that, that the big large shows don't really carry. And they're now offering CE courses and they're offering, you know, fun time and all that good stuff. And, and, and I see a, a, a huge move towards those. Um, the, the large trade shows we're seeing, you know, they have, they'll have um, student day and they'll have international day and they'll have, you know, walk around the floor day, and which is all great. But, but bottom line, I think you can get CE online now. Yeah. Uh, those those shows are are, are expensive. You know, they fly, used to fly their offices out. Yeah, yeah, I'm in California. I want to go see Washington D.C. Okay, you know, or yeah, I want to go see New York. Okay, but I think that's getting old. Uh, and they just have they offer CE, they offer class, and you walk around the floor. Those floors shows are really just for the large uh, distributors and the and 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 you know international companies are trying to market their product, or even just you know uh, local U.S. companies trying to market their products. And I don't know how much really comes out of that. Uh, there are a lot of meetings that go on, you know, between, you know, how we can testify to that between distributors and and uh, and, and the, the actual manufacturers. But, but you know, you could do that over the phone now also, and I think Zoom has changed things. But what I do find is these, like, I like to call them summits or, you know, weekends, you know, the Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays or Fridays, Saturdays, they're very quick. You know, they're, they're CE conscious, they, you know, they, they, they focus, they push that. And then it's, it's, it's the people that they've been consulting with. And uh, there's already a relationship there. And uh, they'll t- just, you know, the doctors will go, they'll send a couple of office staff to go along with them. They knock out what they're looking to do. And the CE side, they have, you know, they meet some people that are also working as, uh, you know, they're, with their advisors and and and, uh, and that's it, it's done. So we are going to those. Those I see are starting to open up again. The large shows, uh, it's they're, they're just, they're not doing it. Um, I find that these, let's call them summits or these, you know, smaller intimate groups of the, you know, the hundreds or the five hundreds are opening. Uh, they're starting already in April, May and July. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them are offering both virtual and uh, in person. But, uh, but, but bottom line, we, we, we do go, we do go to the shows. We have, we have a, a large showing in New York. We have a showing in, in Chicago and in Boston and in Minnesota and, and you know, California, you know, our, 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 our leadership team goes to all these, you know, they meet like with the manufacturers and they meet with, you know, you know, uh, up and coming guys. But, but as far as us having a table, these places, the larger shows last year and this year, I don't see it happening. Meaning that like, you know, the, the anchor shows, you know, like we had mentioned, but, but the small, the summits and these more intimate, smaller shows, which we feel we benefit more from, uh, we plan on being, we plan on, uh, you know, attending this year and uh for years to come and i think i think we we as a company will benefit more you know that the top brass will continue going to large shows um because you know they, they meet with the people they need to meet with but but as far as you know a company like crazy dental does it really make a difference if we go to these large shows or not probably doesn't it's not uh, the game that we're in yeah. uh we're, we're we're certainly to bring in new business 
uh, to me to, you know, or to wheel and deal on specific products. We wouldn't go to a trade show at, at all uh, too much. Um, you know, we're not, we're, 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 uh, our company is focused on, um, on, on, on the concept, teach, getting the concept of what we do out there. So we do that best, um, through podcasts, through social media, through referrals. Um, it, it takes a while to explain what we do because it's a little bit different than how everybody else works. Um, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't tease prices on, on certain products. We're not going to a trade show with our trade show specials that we've, you know, we've, you know, or anything like that. So it doesn't work for that. Now, what we do find is um, sometimes we can strike up some conversations and, and one-on-one explain to someone what we do at a trade show. It's, it's not very cost effective, but what is nice is um, if, when we are at a trade show, we meet the customers that we've been working with for years and they love seeing us because it's a opportunity Zoom doesn't replace um, that sort of uh, one-on-one interaction. So that's really the number one reason to go. Um, we accomplish that, yeah, with like a small booth or something like that. We're certainly not going to have some sort of big flashy, you know, um, exhibit with with um, 15 sales reps that are pushy looking around trying to recruit people. We'll usually send our customer service department, not salespeople. Um mm-hmm. And they're just going to basically say hi to everybody, kind of like um, the character walk at Disney World, you know? <laughs> exactly. Like we, like we Take don't a have a picture with them. <laughs> oh, you're Jess. You're Jenny. Yeah. I've, I've spoken to you like five times over the last year. So nice to meet you and that sort of thing. It's really nice to do that. And it's a, kind of a way of giving back almost. It's yeah, right. I can I can puts a face to the you know people. Oh, I spoke to you now. I could, I know what you look like and blah blah blah. We'll have like, a little. give out that swag. You know, everyone, so likes, exactly. everyone likes the exactly. swag. You know, exactly. They, they, it's a, a, but to go make a big ball or something or a shot glass right, that they take and they give to their family too many members or whatever. Everyone yeah, loves free stuff. Yeah, that's right. They come um, to the booth just for that play a little game and you get a, you know, they come up with a little game and they, cause like, like how I mentioned earlier, crazy dental is not, you know, we do have a model with reps. We have that model, but the crazy dental model is most of the orders, Howie can actually probably give you a, a hard number, but most people are ordering online that we do have a customer service, you know, division that takes care of all the people that want to call in or email or fax their orders. And they're great. And those are the people that, you know, like how I was talking about, I always spoke to you, I spoke to you, whatever. Uh, but but the company is is is, is move, moving more towards the, you know, online. I just call in quick, place an order, and that's that's where the you know a lot of the dentists are, are starting to move in that direction. Even if they're old timers, but their office staff are are you know, they're just everything's online, and uh, so, so we're moving more toward in that direction. Again, if they want to place the order, you know, over the phone, we're here. You know, they can call it in, they can email it, fax it, whatever they like. Um, they could text. It doesn't matter. We'll do whatever you know the office would like, but the world is moving in that direction. And to, to go ahead and splash and spend a hundred thousand dollars at a show, you know, what's your ROI in that? It's, 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 it doesn't make any sense. I mean, from our perspective. So does does Crazy Dental actually have reps, or is that more on the DC side? That's more on the DC side. I mean, how you can, if you want, but that, that's yeah. Like, I mean, uh, we don't have sales reps. Jay does. We has the title director of business development. He, uh, as an exception, might have a couple of people that he's dealing with one on one. But he's not assigned to customers. Um, he's he's tasked with getting the word out. Um, and everyone else is customer service. We do have reps. We can. It's. I mean, if you're ordering from Crazy Dental, and I should have said this at the beginning. Your order on the DC Dental website. It's basically Crazy Dental is your sales rep. It's it's your digital sales rep um, who's just uh, who's taking care of you for pricing, and you have a customer service team backing that up. But if you do want a sales rep, um, we transition you over, and we could assign you to a sales rep who will create that custom pricing catalog for you, go item by item, and 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 there's a lot of benefits to that. There's a lot of people that prefer having a sales rep. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not a dentist. If I was a dentist spending $50,000 a year at a company, I might say, you know, I, I want a dedicated account manager. And I want, um, you know, I want somebody uh, looking after me and, and, you know, with a sales rep, you can, you can maybe get a couple other, but there is a bet. There's it's, it's, uh, it's just a preference. Uh, and I've done that. I've done that. Well, people... program, it precludes you from having a, uh, you won't have an assigned account manager. 
some people that call us, they find out crazy and they'll talk to us and they're, they're all in and they'll just jump. They're great. They, they, they love our customer service. Like Harry mentioned, if you go on social media, people just praise them right and left. Nobody likes me. I don't know. I'm depressed about it, but whatever. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, they, they love I that like whole you, concept. Oh, thanks. I love you too, Eric. Woohoo! Virtual hug. But uh, they, they, you know, it, it's, it's a, uh, thank you. It, it's a, um, I love you more. It, 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 people, you know, they, they love the whole customer service world. And, uh, and, and, you know, I'll, I'll slowly work, I'll work with them for a little bit and then, you know, and then, you know, dish them off to customer service. And there are others that'll say, Hey, I love that whole rep. I'm used to it. I'm accustomed to it. I, I don't know how to deal with it. I, I'm just, I, I can't, I can't make that leap. I can't make that jump to just, you know, I, I just, I, I need, I need to talk to somebody. They're just very like, you know, hands on. And, and like how he says, we have a great group of guys and gals that do that. And that's what they do all day. Uh, as, as or, they work with people, but they do, they'll it, call and they'll talk to them and they'll work with them. You know, crazy dental is not calling anybody and saying, Hey man, you haven't placed an order in, in uh, 30 days. Where are you? You know, we'll send out emails, uh, you know, but, but it's, it's a buying club. And, and, a, and a part of a buying club is we do the work on the back end. We guarantee it to be the least expensive. And that's what we do uh, for all from the back end. So you don't have to deal with anybody else or anything else. You just go, you place your order online or you call us up. You have your, your orders, like how he said, we'll send, you know, these catalogs, these, you know, these are, these are cater, you know, white glove catalogs that are with the items that you typically order, the items that we sell most of and boom, done. And, uh, the company, thank God has really grown that way. So, you know, the model works. Great. You said membership club. Do, do you consider crazy dental to be a GPO and is there a fee to, to join the club? There's no fee at once. At one time there was, that was before my time. Howie can talk about that. There's, is this GPO? No, because I think we're like, we're, you know, it's just a buying club under the DC dental umbrella. It's not, yeah, yeah it's not a GPO um, in, in that sense. Um, it's, that's, that definitely there isn't a membership fee. Although we've toyed with the idea for a long time. We feel like it's, it's, it's worth money, but we're not going to ask anyone to pay for it. Um, the club is really the idea of that. Um, is to is to kind of reinforce what I said before in terms of it's best suited for those that are not going to shop around. So mm -hmm. you're part of the club. This is where you place your orders from. The average order size of a crazy dental customer is um, higher than most. You know, uh, well, it's certainly higher than the average internet order that's placed online. Our it's much closer to what our sales reps are experiencing with their loyal customers. It's it's a it's it's designed for the loyal customer, and we do have people that order. You know, they'll, they'll order a couple of these and a couple of those. They use the discount code, like you said. You know, D for dentist. It's by the way, the record is the number four. D is and David the number four and dentist. You know, they'll get the ten percent off the ordering. Uh, you know, through deals for dentists. But it, it's it's a there are you know especially with PPE, you have a lot of people that are ordering just gloves and just masks. And, and just wipes because we happen to have a lot more of that than, than, and we're offering to sell more than that than our competitors. Uh, they have, they have limits. And now we've think I've been able to open the door to, you know, so, so a lot of things are just not limited anymore, but, but, but it, it's, it's, you know, but most people are like, you know, this is my one-stop shop, but you do have those therapy shoppers that love to just bounce around and play games and they'll buy a little gray here and a little of this from us and a little of this from that guy. And they, they're friends with that guy and they don't want to leave them. So they'll buy a little here, a little there. Do, and, do you find uh, that's a, the older generation and that the newer generation, you know, the millennial dentists that are coming out are more tech savvy and they want the instant gratification. They just want to order quickly um, through, you know, your digital platform. Yes. Is that yes. yes. The millennials yes. want to um, want, want a more digital relationship typically. Um, but they're, they are, they, they're not as much, they're not as likely to shop around though necessarily yeah. they're looking yeah, for right. a digital platform where they can just go place their order and then get back to you know playing angry birds i'm just kidding going back to practicing <laughs> dentistry and stuff like that they play angry birds on their patients no, no i'm millennials okay. well, I, well, I think you can qualify as a millennial now and be like 35 so hey i'm 42 and i'm okay. a millennial no, i'm joking but but it's it's a and do we just talk about using the word gpl we do I don't even know. We, 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 um, it's whatever they tell you on the internet. The, the, um, <laughs> the, we'll you know, we do work with some of these groups also. We work with, you know, DSOs and, and, and some groups that, you know, we have a GPO where you have to talk about going to the summit. You know, we work with these guys also because they, we have the ability to do that. 
In other words, we're not just because we're we're a large company that that you know we're gonna we're gonna hit probably you know please got over 100 million this year in sales. So it's we're we're moving we're moving quickly we're going in the right direction. We think we're we're always trying to you know stay ahead of the curve. And 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 we, we we work with some of the larger companies as well because we, we we're we're big enough to do that and we can play with the big boys. Uh, you know we're not in the billions but we're in the hundred million now and then we could you know we have we have leverage now as well. So we're, we're working we're working to that end. Have it's you ever been like, approached by one of the big boys to to buy you out? Don't look at me, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know that they're in that game. I think that they have plenty of business on their own. Mm -hmm. um yeah I, you know personally i i love just being able to go online and do something quick um it's one of the reasons i first started using implant direct back in like 06 or 07 when they first came out because it was an implant company that was selling everything online and i could just go in and create my shopping card and and it would you know my implants would be there in in a day or two and i didn't have to deal with the local rep um so to, to me that is is, is very attractive um and uh, i think that's you know the the way it's going is people just especially the, the younger dentists out there they want to be able to focus on their patients and their business and not have to to worry about um you know shopping um, and how he how he loves to talk about this and he'll tell you one of our largest uh, one of our most popular items that we still sell today is film uh, you have, you know, I'm looking here, according to the internet, not that you believe anything you read, but according to this guy, and he says that millennials were born in 1981. So you could be 40 years old and still be a millennial. But, but people, Cowley loves to say this, you know, some of the, we're still selling a ton of film. I mean, I just saw mm -hmm. a couple of days ago where our supply chain folks put in, uh, a, 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 you know, some more, uh, there's some other companies now adding film to their repertoire, to their list of products that they sell, which is like, what? And the answer is there's still a lot of people, you know, using old age stuff and which is mm -hmm. fine. It's great. And uh, we want to be able to service those people at the same time. Uh, we want to, you know, look to the, you know, millennials and, 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 you know, there are a lot of DSOs popping up everywhere and they're all online. You know, they're, they're not, they're not focused, you know, they're, 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 their companies need to know what's going on and who's spending what and how they're spending it and, so you got to get a you got to get a TikTok video out there, Jay. You got to you know that's a joke. that's where I'll, it's yeah. It's not a joke. So um, <laughs> tomorrow I'm actually getting my my second uh, vaccine. Um, nice. And I wanted to ask you guys. You actually both of you uh, got COVID, right? Yep. Yeah. I got it from Howie. Me? I got it from Howie, but I don't want to talk about that. No, I'm joking. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's after the Zoom, we can talk about that. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me about your uh, experience getting COVID and what your symptoms were like. How you want to go first? You go. I mean, I uh, I found out, uh, you know, that I had it uh, luckily well before I had been exposed to anybody. So I just uh, holed up at my house for two weeks. I was working straight through and working out of my house. Um, was fairly mild um, from my perspective. I mean, I, I have a high tolerance for pain, I guess. You know, or or for I don't know pain or what you'd call it, but you know I was, I definitely had uh, I lost my sense of taste and smell, um, sore throat, all the rest of that, but um, but I, uh, I I muscled through it, and I think at the other end of it, I know that it's it's a weird situation and a weird environment that we're in, where you know everyone's kind of afraid to give some sort of m definitive medical claim towards let's say saying that you're immune or anything, but I've been feeling immune. It seems like there isn't a single example worldwide that I'm aware of of somebody getting COVID a second time, I think within the first 90 days, which I'm still in, I believe. So, um, but you know, uh, it, it's, it's allowed me to, and also I think they say not to take the vaccine in the first 90 days. Not, I'm not sure if I would, would qualify anyway under, any other categories. So, um, I'm, you know, I, I, I feel like it was one thing I put in the rear view mirror. I got very lucky. Um, there are people that either have, um, very, very bad, um, experiences with it as it's happening to the point where it's lethal, obviously. Um, although you'll find that typically with elderly, but the other thing that you find is that people have lingering, um, symptoms and that crosses, it seems like all age groups, where you know you won't get your sense of of of, uh, of smell back for weeks, months. 
I think some people have been like going on from the, you know, they've got, they've, they're, they're approaching a year where they haven't gotten it back. So um, I, I'm, I'm feeling very fortunate about that. And I'm very excited that there's a, a vaccine out there and hopefully they can get everybody vaccinated um, sooner rather than later. Yeah, Jay, what about you? You had it uh, a little you. bit worse, right? I did. I, I am also part of the one of the, I'm on the alumni list of, uh, <laughs> of uh, you know, thank God I'm alive. I was, you know, and you know, when you get, when I was, uh, I was ended up in the hospital and uh, the first question they ask you, one of the nurses ask you is after the doctor sits down and gives you, you know, all of the, I wasn't on Johns Hopkins after they give you a list of different things that could potentially happen and how the whole system works and what they thought from all the x-rays and MRIs and CT scans again and everything. Uh, they, they say to you like, what's going to happen to you? If what, what do you want to happen to you? If you don't make it out of here, you know, alive and it like, you know, hits you over the head a little bit. Wow. Uh, yeah. Because you know, it's, that's, that's what's happened. But thank God, you know, I'm alive. It, it was pretty brutal. I had, um, I went into the hospital actually on day 12. I didn't go in right away. And my whole family had, I went through all my kids, my wife, everybody, we all got it. And we're all alumni. And, uh, it, it was uh, it was pretty bad. I had I, like how he's saying he didn't have much. Uh, he, he was cool. He worked through it. I remember doing some work with him, you know, while he was at home, locked up. But uh, my, my, my one of my sons got it first, and we locked him up in the basement, and we kept them down there like, oh, you know, stay away, isolate, blah blah blah. We did that, but then ultimately, you know, you, you find out you you don't get your symptoms until like three four days after you really have it. So by then, everybody was too late. It was going around the house, and you know, everybody got it. Um, I ended up being in the hospital for four days. Afterwards, I, it took me about eight weeks. I'm still not fully recovered. I still get weak. I'm still get, get, I get I'm still fatigued. I get tired a lot quicker than I used to. Uh, and it's not because of age. It just it was like snap. Just just happened. Uh, I had memory fog, short term memory fog for a while, where you just forget short term things. Just it's just not there. Um, and then again, there are a lot of people that have a lot of different, you know, post and pre, you know, post symptoms of, you know, what, what once went through their head. But, you know, and then there's, you know, there was, uh, you know, they worried about my blood pressure, my lungs, my breathing. Those are things that everybody has to worry about right away. Always get a pulse oximeter, check your blood and your and your lungs. If you're, if you're below 90 on your on your and you know, your lung reading, get just get it, go to the hospital. It's just not worth uh, waiting it out. And they they know a lot more now what's going on than they did in the early days when people were just, you know. Not, not doing well and they still aren't but it's it's much better than it was and like how you said you know there's a vaccine now so i'm on the list to get it hopefully i will i don't know there's nothing available here in maryland mm -hmm. um, so it's just you know they, yeah they're blaming it on tennessee i think in arkansas with these where pfizer and Moderna manufacture these vaccines oh there's storms they can't get the stuff out I, there's not enough i saw new york city only has a thousand left that was like yesterday I mean, wow. to do with millions of people. I mean, you know, and then there are a lot of people. I one of my kids had emergency surgery yesterday, and uh, at Johns Hopkins, and I was there. Um, I spent the whole Saturday night there, and then yesterday, most of the day, and most of the the nurses there all had their had two shots already, two vaccines already. Mm -hmm. Doctors all had two. That means if they tell you, you had a million vaccines in the state, whoop you do. I mean, you know, that means only half a million people, or let's say seven hundred thousand people got it. I mean, you have millions of other people. That, so it's taken a while. Uh, so people, I think, should still be vigilant and careful. But it, it, the more people that get the vaccines and the more people that already had it, it's going to become less and less likely for people that have not had it yet to actually get it. Um, and uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was daunting. It was brutal. You know, you're cold. You're hot. Your 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 fever spiking. You know, and you. Yeah, you had lingering and, features for weeks. Yeah, weeks. I was I had pneumonia on every single one of my lung ventricles. I was coughing. They're driving these guys here in the office crazy. Um, I mean, one thing I did not listen to is my doctor. Nothing against you, Eric. I know you're a doctor, you're a proud doctor, but my doctor told me he's like, don't go to work. I went anyway. Um, you know, a lot of people can't. after after the oh, after the, after yeah, right, right. I, I didn't come and spread the, the the virus here, right? Okay, you know, yeah. Disclaimer. Once you were the, once you were, he said not to go to work, not because you were contagious. He said not to go to work right. so that you could rest up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and and yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's yeah. That's <laughs> Whoops. I even have I even have masks here in my. Uh, my juror, my office, you know, I can walk around, but, but, it, but it, it's, uh, you know, I, I, when I left the hospital, they weren't even sure if I was still contagious or not, because like I said, I went mm -hmm. into day 12. They're like, oh, maybe you are, maybe you're not. We're not sure. It's so just take, you know, be careful. So I left the day 16 or day 17 or whatever, you know, as so I stayed home for another week, a uh, week and a half. And then I came back to the office and uh, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't easy, but, you know, thank God I have a job where I can, I don't have to run around all day. I'm not working in a warehouse. You know, we have guys in the warehouse here, you know, you see that. And, you know, you, I realized like if I was doing that, no way I, I wouldn't have gone back right away there's no way and uh so thank god for that and, you know if i was driving a bus you know a lot, a lot of jobs are very you have to, you yeah. know see here it's it's you know the type of job i have it's it's you know it's easier 
and uh, to work, you know, then, then it would be, it's, it's not as, uh, I'm not moving, you know, I'm working, you know, I'm not a bodybuilder. So uh, that, that would take, not but yet. thank God. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. My yeah, stomach well. seems to expand all the time. That's, that's where my muscle mass is right here. But it's, yeah. uh, thank God, thank God, you know, it's, it's good. We're good. We're, you know, my family's back to normal. Like I said, I still have a little bit of fatigue. I have a nurse that calls me every week to check mm-hmm. up on me. Uh, Cause I, you know, I volunteer to be part of some kind of, uh, uh, you know, exploratory, what a blah, 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 it happens. I don't know what I was signing up for. I was like, yeah, if I could help someone, why not? Next thing I know, they're taking blood from me, like no tomorrow at the hospital. <laughs> and they're calling me and asking me questions. This, and I'm like, oh my God, what did I sign up for? But it's fine, you know, because what they do is they, COVID, it, it does a lot of things. And one of the things it does is it it, it, um, it can cause blood clots. So they gave me some kind of medicine, even though for, I don't know if it was a placebo or not, but they keep calling me like, some kind of medicine they use for other illnesses that break up blood clots. So that, that was that was their exploratory where they wanted to check to see maybe if they, I don't know if they gave it to me or not. The doctors didn't even know if what they gave it to. That comes from directly from the lab at the university to see if that works. But, you know, whatever. It's, 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 it's not not recommended. We all know people that didn't make it, all of us. I mean, my yeah. kid's doctor who yesterday did the surgery, I, he, he's his guy who he did residency under here in Maryland. Uh, he didn't make it. You know, and he was helping a lot of people. And he's a famous guy. He just, it's, it's, it's pretty sad. You know, my it brother's father, my brother's father-in-law. I went to his funeral. He didn't make it. You know, so they're all, it's, it's wow. still, it's, it's serious. It's not a joke. Uh, but it, it's still a very small percentage of people. It's not, you know, it, the numbers are staggering. But it's, it's, and it's dangerous. So you have to be careful. But we should, bottom line is, we should all stay healthy and safe, and and uh, be careful. And we should, all, you know, please God, we'll all get through this. And it looks like. Then again, one of these, I think one of the things that taught us is we don't know anything, but but it looks like we're getting towards the end. So it looks like. So even Hopefully. even from the business end, like our supply chain was telling uh, Howie today, like they're, they're, you know, and I know that you know some people are saying now April, by April this thing may be over. So if the vaccines really start pumping out, and uh, and and people already had it. The likelihood if someone has the likelihood of them getting again is like less than zero point one percent or something like that. So so many people have had it and. Uh, so if you haven't had, I don't know if you had it or not, Eric, but if you haven't, hopefully you're 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 you know you're out of the gates. Or we're pretty close to it. So I mean, as a doctor, yeah, you deal with this I'm all getting, the time. You have yeah, patients. I'm getting the second one, uh, the Moderna second one you tomorrow. You mentioned that, so, right? That's great. Uh, yeah, so you're good so, to go. Yeah. Well, have you had reactions? Have you had reactions from the first uh, vaccine? Were you perfectly just fine? Just a first? sore shoulder. So you know, we'll, wow. we'll see what wow. happens. Yeah, and that everyone's different. Good. So right. yeah, right. Especially people with yes. antibodies, they say that it's, it's, it's a reaction. But thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks for sharing your story. It. Thank you, and guys, don't forget D four, the number four. So D is in David, the number four dentist. Uh, gives you ten percent off on all orders, except for right now for PPE. That'll probably change soon. Hopefully, once we get past COVID. Uh, but right now, it works on anything. Ten percent off every product you order from us. Uh, you could track it. I know we didn't really talk about that, but once you place the order, you're going to get an email from us. All right, order was placed. Within 15 minutes, it's already in boxes. Uh, we've got about 50 people in the warehouse working, and we got a bunch of machines and robots, so it's pretty cool stuff. And like uh, how you mentioned, we have an Amazonian guy, you know, making us all Amazonian. And um, and uh, so the warehouse doesn't look like the Amazon, the beautiful trees and water, but but it's it's, it's clean. It's, uh, it's it's there's a lot of lot of stuff moving in and out. So after 15 minutes, it's already on the trailer, done. Uh, and then uh, once once either FedEx GPS actually uh, scans the product when it gets to their where you know their distribution centers to get you know shipped out, you'll get another email of tracking, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's, it's 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 smooth sailing. And uh, we try to we try to we operate that way. And Howie's on top of that. That's what he does all day is make sure that you know the warehouse is is running smoothly and that you know financing is you know in shape <laughs> and this that's what he lives on he's here at seven in the morning and he leaves at 10 at night literally guys no joke the guys uh he's a word hey. you know he keeps it's, it's true i'm sorry maybe eight or nine at night whatever i'm sorry <laughs> so it's uh guys thanks so much that thank was, you um a uh, great interview again jay glazer and, and howie friedman of crazy dental uh, let's be in touch and um um uh, we'll thank go from you. there guys, um, for sure this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make it crazy. Life's about being crazy. Make if you ain't crazy, crazy you, ain't, yeah. you ain't living. You gotta make that's it crazy. right. You know, Keep it for crazy. Some, yeah, it's like, for some reason, our model is being a monkey. I don't know where that came from, but I just like, <laughs> that's it. Just, just. <laughs> I, I smell t-shirts, you know, make it crazy. That's, that's, uh, I think you guys are onto something. All right, guys, let's be in touch. Appreciate right, you, brother. You. Enjoy bananas. Thank you. <laughs>